Our second speaker is an actor, a comedian, a producer, an author, and an Emmy nominee. He's known for um, being on the cast of Saturday Night Live for seven years, 30 Rock for another seven years, starring as Tracy Jordan, and starring as Trey Barker in the last OG. Help me welcome to, well, welcome to the stage a Walk of Famer in his own right, Tracy Morgan. Yo, bust it. In my generation, when you say Martin, you don't have to say his last name. Everybody knows who you talking about. My parents had Red Fox and Sanford and Son. We had Martin Lawrence and the Martin Show. The show that made you rush home from work, and you and your family sat around the TV and watched and laughed your ass off. And everybody talked about it at work the next day. That was one part of Martin's legacy. The most, the, but the most important part is the number of people he influenced, namely me. I had a friend named Raul in Puerto Rican George who worked for Russell Simmons, and he gave me and my brother Jim some tickets to see Martin host Def Jam. Out of all the comedians that performed that night, the only one I remember was Martin. His funny was effortless. He made me want to do and succeed in comedy. He made me believe I could do it. A few months, four months later, I performed on Def Jam. I thought that would be the last time meeting him because out of nervousness, I smacked him on the ass when he introduced me and passed me the mic. I thought it was a good pass. We ain't dropped the mic. Might get into drop. And afterwards, I thought he was mad at me and even hated me. But to my surprise, he called me a year later. I woke my son to the school, and when I came home, my wife, Sabina, said, Martin Lawrence just called you. I said, yeah, right, Martin didn't call me. He ain't called me. Ten minutes later, he called. Okay? He called me back, and he said, what's up, wild boy? Because that's what he used to always call me, wild boy. Remember that? He used to call you and Billy. He used to call me wild boy. What's up, wild boy? And after a short time on the show, Martin and Kenny Buford wrote the role Hustle Man. For, for me, which changed me and my family's life forever. Because of that, we moved out of the ghetto. But we still ate Franks and pork and bean juice. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Thank you very much. I was honored to be cast alongside Martin in a very funny movie. I did, I, I did, A Thin Line Between Love and Hate with Lynn. Let's thank both of y'all. And uh, also Death at a Funeral with my other comedic hero, Chris Rock. When you get a star on the Walk of Fame in Hollywood, it cements you as a legend. But Martin, you have been more than that to me and so many others. You are my brother and a mentor. I'm so happy to give and giving you and Sean Lampkin your roses. You will always, always be my OG. I love you, Marty Ma. Thank you. 